Well, just got off the tram at uh, Gregory Street. Now it's just a short walk down to the towpath. We're joining the canal again at bridge 13A and heading west towards Beeston. The boatyard behind me has been here since 1796 when the canal was uh, originally completed. Tom Trethethick took the boat yard over in 1985 and it's currently the oldest dry dock in Nottingham City. There's a large building at the back which we can't see at the moment. That used to be a blacksmith's shop and it was converted into a, uh, a workshop to enable work to be carried out for the boats, mainly of which were wooden ones in its early days before Tom took the premises over. The Gregory Street Bridge which we just came across used to be next to what was Clayton's Wharf and that was known as Clayton's Bridge. I'm not sure if it's anything to do with Fellows Morton and Clayton. If you know let me know in the comments below. It is January the 3rd 2022 it's nice about nine degrees but when you're in that wind the chill factor don't half get to you behind me there's some great looking uh, great looking vessel vessels parked up by the boatyard I'm actually walking over the River Lean now. It's tunnelled underneath the canal, so I suppose technically we're walking across an aqueduct. Who would have known it?
Afternoon. Across the way on the right is Dunkirk or the boundary of Dunkirk and Lenton. Now that's a nice little uh, boat, lovely little garden mooring. Trent Fireplaces is towards my, my left and then there's a hosiery factory but more importantly something most of you have probably heard of is the games workshop that's based here in nottingham and that's their euro hub over on the uh, over on the left i've only seen one boat moving today a short while back, a cabin crew has uh, passed by. The bridge we're approaching now carries the A52, which runs all the way from Stoke-on-Trent, well, just past Stoke-on-Trent, from Newcastle under line, and it goes all the way to the east coast, to Mablethorpe via cities such as Nottingham and Derby. I'm not going to bother going up those steps. Too steep a climb for me. I've just had a, a full breakfast, so we'll, we'll leave that one. Notice there's a lot of graffiti around here. Pretty nice stuff, actually. Pretty uh, neat graffiti, if you ask me. It's a typical bridge, lots of graffiti, and the obligatory pigeons, which tend to live just underneath the top bit. Simple name for a boat. The next door, another original design flying its own flag this is this is bridge 14 which no doubt is a railway bridge looking at the structure there again it might not be There's not really much wildlife around here. I've seen the odd duck, or geese, pigeons. Well, it is sort of 
winter time so all the trees are bare I imagine there's very little nesting if the birds have got any sense <coughs> there'll be more sheltered ground under cover or they may have may have migrated the bridge you can see here is the chain lane bridge which goes over to the uh, the Dunkirk industrial estate quite a small bridge this one all 10 feet of it in width or probably less tell you what let's just have a quick look if I can climb up this bank and uh, whoa. let's have a look from the uh, from the top of it so that's towards west towards Beeston and this is where we just just come from let's head back down it's getting a bit uh, a bit windy up here no it's nothing to do with me having beans on toast earlier it's just that we're in the uh, up on top we're in the open but it's a little bit more secluded on the uh, on the cut down here it's often known by many as the Beeston Link but technically well I know it is the Nottingham Stroke Beeston Canal I suppose like a lot of canals throughout the country some of them have their own colonial some of them have their own colloquial names more boats it's quite uh, an old one maybe in need of a bit of TLC bit of a flow on the canal today I'm guessing that the Castle Rock on Wilford Road in Nottingham is being used and also the Meadow Lane Lock which drops down into the down into the Trent tell you what still a bit nippy and the sun's very very low oh, we've got a few, a few ducks up ahead afternoon ladies you are in fact ladies difficult to tell from this angle
Oh, you're coming to say hello, are you? You coming to say hello? I haven't got any bread for you. No. I'm sorry. You'll have to move, move further down stream. How many of you are there? Two, four, six, eight, nine. So you're out on the little New Year's wonder as well, are you? The canal looks relatively higher than usual. Probably got uh, water flowing in from the Trent at, uh, at Beeston Lock. I think this is Thane Road Bridge, you can see in front of me, which leads over to the Boots site, Jesse Boots. Jesse Boot was originally from Nottingham, started off that, I suppose, world famous chain of chemists. Afternoon, caught out. Um, no, nothing. probably tin can or a trolley, shopping <laughs> trolley. Afternoon. As far as I know, this is the only winding hole on the Nottingham Stroke Beeston Canal. A few boats do turn around at the uh, Castle Marina Bridge or their sort of entrance way, although I don't think they sh should be doing that. But this is the uh, only winding hole that I think exists on this stretch or this link of water which bypasses the River Trent and goes all the way goes all the way to Beeston. Afternoon. How you doing? Well, if you've lost a shoe, <coughs> I may have found it. I'm guessing it's a size eight or nine. That looks like an old outboard motor. I suppose you never know what you're going to find if you're uh, if you're magnet fishing, unless of course it's just been been dumped. But 
a lot of cyclists on this stretch of the canal between Beeston and uh, and Nottingham. Yeah. Mind you, the really? really? towpath is pretty it? it's pretty wide, so I suppose there's room for everybody. And as you saw back there, there's a few few fishermen too. I don't know what they've uh, been catching. I'm sure they probably do catch fish down here being the novices they are otherwise they wouldn't be down here Hmm, strange place to moor a boat. There again, probably not so strange because it is on the uh, on a canal by a towpath. I can hear a bit of shouting and cheering in the uh, in the background. I assume it's a park, or it may well even be a rugby match. So I believe the Nottingham Casuals rugby ground or pitch is just on the uh, left, a few hundred yards down. Afternoon. Happy New Year, Tim. And you, mate. Yeah, all the best. Can't be any worse than the last one, can it? Well, my tummy's rumbling. <coughs> so, hunger calls. Time for a uh, ham and tomato cheese topped cob. Very nice it is too. Pretty sure that this is the Thane Road Bridge we're coming up to and on the opposite side of the canal is the Jesse Boots complex or the other the other side of it quite a, a large area it's certainly a few acres There is still hope for the fast food generation. Well, if you believe that, believe anything.
just had another cob stop so we'll move continue now continue on towards Beeston Lock There's chimneys in the uh, foreground and those buildings. I believe they're all part of the the boots complex. What's left of it? A lot of it has been uh, been demolished. Hello, what have we got here? Hello. Hello, how are you ladies, your ladies, how are you then, alright, I've got no, got nothing for you, I'm sorry, I've just uh, ate the last cob in that pack of two, I've got two left but you're not having them, no, where have you been then? Where have you been today? Just been out for a walk. I, I assume you're a, a couple, are you? Hmm? Oh, you do look hungry, don't you? You look very hungry. Especially you. wildlife on the cut. See lots of it down uh, here on this Beeston link. There's still a good flow on the on the canal. two-legged friends Hiya. It's about twenty past three in the afternoon, January the third. And the well, it's getting a bit, a bit dark, or darker. The nights are certainly, uh, the nights are certainly drawing in. As well as cyclists, and the odd scooter you get a lot of joggers down here who uh, well obviously fit or they're trying
trying to get fit. I ought to do some jogging really and lose this uh, spare tyre. Mind you, I do always jog to the bar when that uh, last orders bell goes. Does that count? Probably not. interesting circular walk goes about a meter to that wall I'm guessing the uh, River Trent is behind me and that wall is part of the uh, the flood barrier. I go anywhere near Brendan. The Nottingham and Beeston Canal. Boots new footbridge. Well, it doesn't look very new, but I imagine it was new at one stage in its life. I'm guessing we're about a quarter of a mile away now from uh, Beeston Lock. I hope so, it's getting bloody cold. Very, very nippy. We're approaching Beeston Rylands now and just over this footbridge you can cross over and walk along the road or if you stay on this side of the, uh, the towpath you've got the Trent on the far left the River Trent and obviously the canal the Beeston Link on the right it's a nice uh, nice tree still got the Christmas decorations up there look unless they're uh, early for this year
cross over this bridge and then walk along the roads by the by the canal. There's not really a lot to see on the on the opposite side now. It's sort of shielded by by an embankment. That bridge I've just come across would originally have been a turnover bridge but as you can see it's been uh, been replaced with something a little bit more modern even though it looks oldy worldy with its uh, cobblestones Nice looking blue on that that wide beam turquoise or as near as damn it. I can hear the weir, so we're not we're not far away from from Beeston Lock. As I suggested earlier, the bank over the other side is a bit of a, a flood barrier and the River Trent is just behind there as it meanders around where it meets Beast and Lock and the end of the stretch of this canal and then the navigable way will be a few hundred meters up the Trent <coughs> and then you'll meet the Cramfleet, Cramfleet Canal which again is just a short stretch of canal non-tidal which allows you to navigate and avoid one of the uh, weirs on the River Trent. In the distance there you can see the towpath gateway which leads on to Beeston Lock and then across the way I believe there's a canal side heritage museum. I doubt if it's open this time of the year in the middle of winter. Maybe something to visit during the warmer weather times. Christmas decorations look quite nice on this boat. I imagine when the neon lights are activated on the roof looks even nicer. away there there's an Elson point and also just beyond that bridge the canal side heritage center 
and then straight in front here is the Beeston Lock. Like it's been used today. A lot of weeds and rammel has been washed up by the trend. That's Beeston Weir to the right of the uh, picture. Let's just walk down a little bit further to the uh, Beeston. Beeston Marina. I'm not sure if it's open today. I know there's a cafe down there and the bar. In fact the bar might be open. Let's go and have a let's go and have a look. I'm going to give the bar a miss tonight. Time's getting on and I've just had a phone call. I need to meet meet some friends in Nottingham. So by the time I've walked to Beeston, caught the tram back home and then gone out again, it will be time for me to meet up with those friends. But we will be back, preferably when it's a little bit, a little bit warmer. Right, now let's make our way back towards Beeston and then onto the, onto the tram.